and welcome to KSS Program's online lessons. Today, we'll be covering lawn games. Our lesson is divided in four sections. Introduction to lawn games, ball games, throwing games, and the fun fact of the day. Let's take a second to read Stephen Wright's quote. Let's get started with an introduction to lawn games. Lawn games refer to the games generally played outdoors in friendly environments and with multiple players. These games are light-hearted in nature and great for sheer fun and entertainment. Ball games. These games involve throwing or bowling a ball. Bowling games transcend through different cultures and while still very popular today, the earliest organized games date as far back as to the times of ancient Rome. Throwing games. These games involve the act of throwing an object to achieve a goal or score points. Similar to ball games, the skills of accuracy and coordination are paramount. Ball games. Croquet. Croquet involves using plastic or wooden mallets to knock balls through hoops to reach the end of a sequence. The game is played with two, four, or six players and usually played on a mostly level grass surface. November of 1856 in London, it's when the word croquet first appeared in a publication. The origins of the game came in the 17th century in France and England and was mostly referred as Paul Mall, which took root in the Latin phrase of pile male, meaning ball and the mallet. The game's highest point of popularity was in 1860s England. How do we play it? A pole or spike, usually made of wood, is placed at the end of a course set up with a number of wickets driven into a grass lawn. The object of the game is for teams to take turns hitting their balls through a particular sequence of wickets, ultimately to then hit a wooden spike. The first team to hit the spike with all their balls will win. Multiple variations of the game exist today. Garden, American six wicket, nine wicket, ricochet, and one ball. Now let's talk about bowling games. Several different bowling games exist today among different cultures with some involving perfectly round balls and other involving biased balls. They all, however, have similar gameplay and rules. These games generally involve sets of differently colored balls, one for each team, and another differently sized ball or object. The games can be played on grass, sand, and gravel in both open areas or in specifically constructed courts. The ancient Greeks had games with ideas similar to bowling games, where objects such as sticks and stones were thrown to land as closely as possible to another object. Ancient Rome popularized and organized the gameplay of bowling balls as close to as possible to another smaller ball for achieving points. In bocce, the smaller ball is thrown out first by one of the teams. Teams will then either take turns throwing their balls to get as close to the smaller ball as possible, or alternatively, the team closest to the ball holds their balls until they are not longer closest. The number of points achieved is equal to the number of balls closest to the smaller ball compared to the position of the opponent's ball closest to the smaller ball. Throwing games. Some of the most popular games include horseshoes, which involves throwing 
horseshoes at stakes or pegs in the ground. The idea is to wrap your horseshoe around the stake or get as close to the stake as possible. Cornhole. This game is very popular today and sometimes named bing bags. The idea is to throw bags of beans, corn, sand, or any grain at a raised board on the ground that has a hole carved out of it. Getting close to the hole or throwing your bag in the hole scores your points. Ladder toss involves throwing string balls at a ladder with three or more racks. The idea is to wrap the string balls around the racks to achieve points. Can jump involves throwing a disc like an object such as a frisbee into a cut in an upstanding barrel or another object. The idea is to be accurate enough to fit your thrown frisbee into the small cut. Other popular games include cup and ring toss. Let's finish today's lesson with our fun fact of the day. We hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.